G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, I'm just on a little bit of a high, just watching CRS-20 get tossed up into space. And for those who like watching these things and who want to do an ISS transit video in the next day or so, you might get two dots if you're really lucky. I think it's due to dock 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, March the 9th. So if you can hit it around that time, you'll probably hit a winner. Anyway, from something really spectacular to something really spectacular fail. This was Ranty in his live stream the other day. I guess it's really important to know what your guests' feelings are about Flat Earth before you ask them. <laughs> Have a listen. And that's when it gets colder. And that's when it will increase again. And I think she's correct. Cool. So, you want to talk Flat Earth? Uh, no, I hate Flat Earth. It's a load of bollocks. Uh, Coronavirus. I'm talking about coronavirus. In the words of Quantum Eraser. Holy shnikes. This is going to leave a mark. Can you see the mirroring? Can you see what's happening? It's, it's compressing into that. The same way as the bird rack was compressing. In um, Wide Awake's video is another, the same boat. You can see that. That line is just being mirrored back and it, and it's starting to fall into its own mirror because of the angular resolution. And I showed this wavy boat image to my mate Critical Think. He said, Wally, how is it that the compression zone is so neatly following the top of the wave? That's pretty magical compression. Well, you can imagine how Critical Think would have said it. And of course, hey, if you're not subscribed to Critical Think, please do. He just nails these boat guys. He's got some of the best boat images around. Must go and subscribe to him. We have a ship here which is not over the curve. And we have the same ship which is now over the curve. And as always, the link is in the description. And because all these flatties are so big on modus tollens at the moment, there's propositional logic. How about this, guys? P... If the information is compressed at the horizon, it follows Q that you must see evidence of this compression, as in like colours or letters bleeding through at the horizon. And we do not ever see that. So therefore not Q and therefore not P. But interestingly, what we do see is the horizon blocking things, which is destroying information. So when something goes behind the wall of water, as you love to call it, we cannot see it. And exhibit A, here we go again. Let's play MC1's brilliant little piece of footage from just down the coast from Harry down at Wollongong. Yeah, check this one out, Harry. I'm sure you love seeing this. Look how much information is blocked and how much information is not just compressed at the horizon border. And this is not to say that compression can't happen. It's one of the five effects of refraction. So Harry saw compression. He just didn't recognise it. Yeah, have a look at his sunrise video and, and see if you can spot the compression zone. And pro tip, it's not at the horizon. So Harry, the sun is no longer the geometric circular shape that we know it. It is kind of squashed across the middle here. Dare I say compressed? And note how that compression is not at the apparent horizon, Harry. And watch um, it eat itself up, the shadow at the bottom. Okay. But... Uh... Yeah, one did all sorts of funny things. Okay, so if you like that, how about you click and share and subscribe and be the first to get in on the next fun little adventure into destroying the flat earth. Don't try this at home, kiddies. Ow. Oh, homegrown tattoo. How's that?